It's all Twitter's fault. One drop of honey makes a world of difference. One drop of honey makes learning sweet. Add one drop of honey to Talmud Torah. And you've got a team that can't be beat. All starts with the children. Open minds and smiling faces. Well, it's not all Twitter's fault. But Twitter and Facebook... And all of this social media and, and just media in general nowadays has us to be quick on our feet, to have quick answers, to take quick action. When in fact, sometimes it's better to slow down, to think before you act, to think before you speak. I know it sounds strange coming from me. I'm a guy. Guys generally don't do that, right? We act before we think. We speak before we think. But this week's Torah portion, we have a guy who actually thinks before he acts. I'm talking about Moshe, of course. This week's Torah portion, Korach, tells us the story of Korach and a band of 250 rebels who are rising up against Moses, questioning his authority. And Moshe says to them in chapter 16, verse 5, he says, Come morning, Adonai will make known who is God's and who is holy and will grant access to God. So what does this mean? It means that God's going to let you know, Korach, and let me know who God chooses. Is it going to be you, or is it going to be me? Korach or Moshe? But God's not going to do it until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? What, what, God needs time to think this over? God isn't sure? Well, God is. But we're not always. The... Orachaim teaches us that maybe this is coming along. Maybe God is waiting until the morning. Maybe Moses is telling Korach that you have to wait until the morning to teach us that sometimes we're better off thinking before we act, thinking before we speak. Imagine what our world would look like if some of our leaders thought before they tweeted, thought before they acted, thought before they spoke. It's very difficult when you have a a visceral gut reaction to hold that back and instead to think and to listen. And in fact, it's in some ways counter to what Judaism teaches. Not a seven ishma. Do it and then think about it. Then understand it. But like everything else, maybe it's a balancing act. There are times when it's appropriate to act and then understand. And there are times when it's appropriate to understand and then act. This week in our parsha, it's one of those times. Think before you act. Until next time, Lehi Trout. Yeah.